Hi everyone, welcome back to another episode of Fried a Sauce. I'm Alison, this is So Like Dotty, and this is a little bit of a catch up on what I was finishing off before I went on holiday. So if you're watching this, I'm away in the sunshine, um, but we'll be back very soon, sadly. Um, but, well, I always say you've got to come back to go elsewhere. Um, so I'm just going to talk through the last sort of couple of things, what I was up to before I went away. So you may have already caught my son with swimwear vlog, which uh, went out on Sunday. Um, I'll pop a picture in of the costume that I made on that if you didn't see that and you want to check that out. Um, it's the same one that I've been making. It's a combination of the Fiber Mood Luca and the... Oh, I can't remember the other name. I'll drop the other name in. Um, I keep thinking Waves and Wild, but it's not Waves and Wild. Anyway, I'll drop it in. So this is um, a copy of a dress that I'm going to show you, which I made last year. A lot of you really like it. I shared it a few weeks ago, so if I can find a full length picture, I'll drop it in. Um, and it's a viscose chalice. So this pattern works really well. Pattern, it's a sort of self-drafted from a dress pattern. It works really well in something that's very floaty. I actually did make one in a viscose last year, but it wasn't, you know, like I just think you can order viscose and get like a thousand different weights in it. And it just didn't have the flow or something about it just wasn't the same. But this worked beautifully. So the dress that I bought was from... Um, vanilla so in the UK we've got a shop called vanilla <coughs> and excuse me it's broken down into two sections blue vanilla and pink vanilla pink vanilla is aimed at the young ones blue vanilla I think you're talking about well 20 sort of plus but it's really I really like what they sell um, so this is the dress I've worn it loads um, I loved the print and the colours. Um, I got it at the Metro Centre with Granny Linda last year when we went for a coffee. It's maxi length, very maxi. It's just got um, a single piece of elastic around the waist here and then one long panel, sorry, and then another one and then a short one which has got like that border print on. I do think part of the the thing for me with this that drew me to it was the fabric and the border print and I did do a bit of a search last year for border prints but I was struggling to find something um, that I like to use there are probably loads of things out now so it's kind of very similar front and back with, with this V so it's very easy to make so there's just a seam here and then you just sort of top stitch and fold this under around the neck and then it's got a little tie on the back. Now, when I tried it on, I thought it would be, <coughs> excuse me, really low, but it's not. So you can see on this one, I think I've done this one slightly higher. So I think the blue ones may be there, but I like everything covered and I'm definitely covered. It's got like sort of kimono type sleeves. So honestly, it is so quick and easy to make. Now, they also sell through... Uh, new look in the UK as well and I kept seeing this one pop up on like Facebook and things but they didn't have it in my size and um, so this is the fabric it's not got the border print on it but it is like different colours I don't know how well that'll come out so it's like lighter pink to a darker pink than a lighter pink and um, it's got one just one long panel for the skirt and then the ruffle so it's a ready to wear dress but when it came, it I ordered the same size because on the picture it looked exactly the same as the other one. But when it came, it wasn't. So that one fits me absolutely beautifully, like I say, in a medium. And I'm probably a size, a generous size 16, I would say, in the UK size and at the moment. Um, this actually had, it was a little bit like I could wear it around my hips but I wasn't comfortable I felt like it was showing my tummy a little bit too much and it had a shared waist about that thick and um, so when I tried it on Carl said you look really really nice in it I will put a picture of me in it but I said I'm gonna have to alter it and I rather I didn't want to alter the hem where the ruffle was and things I said I need to bring it up and um, because it was miles too long so I had some fabric to play with so I set two to take off. I was going to take it off by the shared panel. Um, no, I wasn't. I was going to take it off by the waist, but it was only when I really looked at it, it had this shared panel. So I thought, right, well, I'll just take that off, join it on, put some elastic in. But when I really got into it, 
it had in addition to the shared panel it had a narrow piece of elastic can you see there just like the other dress did so i literally chopped the i cut it off along the edge of the sharing so i just basically took the shared panel out completely and to be honest it was a bit rubbish the stitching on it wasn't very good um, I think the Sharon would have sort of started to unravel. I think it's probably one of last year's dresses and it's just an odd one because at one point the medium was in stock one night and I was going to order it, then it went out of stock. Then it came back in weeks later. So I don't know. I don't know exactly know what it had been, but it was, did I pay about £14 for it? It was like definitely half price or, or more. So basically I've turned it into the other dress. I didn't put the Sharon back in because I didn't feel like I needed to. It didn't need it. The other one didn't need it. It's, I, I think this style is so, it's elegant on a night with like maybe hair up, earrings in on holiday, but equally it's just as nice to sort of chuck over your bather and go for breakfast or something in. Um, so I use them like that on holiday, sort of for either, either or occasion. Um, and then when I got the blue one last year, I just laid it down and made a pattern out of it. And did I make three or two? I'm thinking I made three, but I can't think what the other fabric was. Maybe I didn't, maybe I made two. So I need to get the other one out and just maybe revisit it and just see if there's something that I need to do with it. But overall, I'm really pleased with that. And I know that's an alteration, not necessarily dressmaking, but if you don't have dressmaking skills, you can't do alterations. And I don't think there's anything wrong with having ready to wear. It gave me a pattern, which I've got for this. And literally it's just cut these rectangles. So, um, Depending on the direction of the fabric, you could either sort of, it literally, as you can see, it's just rectangles. And then I followed the curve of the Saguaro set here from Friday Pattern Company to put that underarm curve in. But you could literally just join it here. But I think because this isn't particularly directional, I just cut this um, on the fold um, and then put a skirt on. Like, literally, it's so easy. So the other thing, which when I'm showing you this isn't finished, but it will be finished, so I will put some pictures in, is the Style Life Bell dress that I do really want to get made and finished for going on holiday, so I will be doing that. Um, so I'm recording this on Thursday the 9th. I know that's a week until you see it. So this is Style Life Bell dress. Alterations that I make, I cut the waist yoke on the fold, which avoids putting buttons there. I cut two of the back panel for the skirt because you don't need the buttons there. You can do it if you want it, but it's got a shared back panel here, which means you can just pull it on over your head. Now, the green dress that I share quite often and I shared last week is the Style Like Bell dress. I think this is possibly my sixth of it, and I love this pattern. So at the time that I'm sharing this with you, I've got the sleeves are constructed waiting to go in, the bodice... The bodice is ready for the sleeves to go in and then I just need to attach the skirt and ruffle. So I thought I'd just, I'm sharing where I'm at, but by the, I will put some pictures in it as well. So what do I do with this? The shared panel comes as a separate piece that once you've shared it, you join it onto the back panel. I stopped that after the second one, took off the seam allowances, joined that piece on, and then I just share the back. Um, because you're going to join it onto the skirt so it's just a faff on it takes like time and it, for me it's unnecessary it's the same width um as the back panel and it's the same width as the skirt you've got a yoke at the back which it's really simple to do um so it's all enclosed and then the pattern very simply takes you through attaching here so the front is just interfaced and folded in and then I pick these cute little pink stripe buttons so very very pale and pop those on there um, I d it depends on the how much of a deep V you like at the front but I do like those now the sleeves on the pattern um, you've got two different options on here so you've got this one which sort of comes down i think it's shared there and then comes down again or this one that's a planer i just tend to do the planer ones but i do finish them off in different ways so i have done the sharing but 
um, sort of done a rolled hem and then a few rows of share and that looks really nice or I've just brought it down and put elastic in that's equally nice you could do them longer you could do them shorter I think I've done them full length before as well um, so the pattern gives you different options as well so it's available in a UK size 4 to 30 so very generous sizing it does take um, I find that I need to, if I'm making it, depending on the width, I know that I need to have four metres. It does say 3.3 um, for size, um, 4 to 22 for 148 wide fabric. Um, but I think also I like to do a ruffle on the bottom of it as well. Um, I just think it adds. Uh, I'm a bit of a ruffle girl, what can I say? It adds a little bit. It elevates it. Is that the right terminology? Um, so in terms of me made me, obviously I've been on holiday for the last week. Well, not quite a week when you see this. So I can't add those pictures in because I've not taken them yet. So we'll do a little catch up of that next week when I'm back. Um, but if you've not checked those pictures out from holiday, I will be sharing those on my Instagram. So nip over to so like dot you on Instagram and check that out. So it is a bit of a short one this week. Let me just check my diary because I'm trying to make sure that I cover all bases with everything I need to talk to you about. No, we're okay. I'm hoping to update you next week on the projector, possibly the baby lock things, but um, that might be the week after. But I will be catching up with you really, really soon. And I just hope that you're having a great week. Lots of sewing. And if the weather's been pants while we're away, sorry, not sorry. Well, I am. I don't want it to be raining, but you know what I mean. Um, and I'll catch up with you really soon. So take care. Bye for now.